So we're out here today at Little Sahara. Get to hang out with the guys from Yankum. We're doing a little testy. Maybe not the best word. <laughs> we're doing a little test. So we got this Dodge stuck and we're gonna pull it out with a side-by-side. We got him pulled out and on our way out. Coming down the hill. Yep. scouting a way to try and get the big ram up to where we're going to film we'll see it's uh, totally stock with little street tires on it not ideal for the sand uh, we might have to pull it with another rig but we'll see it's got a really nice paint job we don't want any scratches so anything like this we got to make sure we can go Away from or get out and hold the bushes out of the way. I think it'll have no problem until we get to the actual sand dunes. And from here is where it's probably going to get dicey getting it up this. It's longer, but it's not nearly as steep. Yeah. And then from here, I don't know if we'd want to drop that way and take the same route we did the first time, or go right up. It's a little smooth, but go up there and ride the ridge over. Yeah. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll, let's get this first shot done. Okay. Gives us some options. Sounds good. When you first hit the gas, it digs and starts sinking, but then the traction control takes over. So if you just goose it and let off, goose it, let so off. Right now the traction control's off. Yeah, it's, if you put it in drive, that's digging some. Yeah, the front bumper's touching the sand and the tires are all buried. So that should do what we're doing is we're showing the capabilities of kinetic energy Yankum ropes. Um, this is a, a big diesel four-door truck. It's heavy. And we're going to pull it out with a side-by-side. -side. And we wanted to make sure it's actually Stop. authentic make sure that it's absolutely actually stuck and not something that you could get in and just drive out and try to make it look cool we want to make sure it's actually stuck and this is stuck rear sitting on the diff front sitting on the diff i mean look yeah it is under the sand uh, 
of it is totally buried. All four front bumpers right on the sand. You can see that is halfway up the tire. Sitting on the control arm, sitting on the front diff. Yeah, that is actually stuck. So if anybody says this wasn't really stuck, that could have just driven it out, and the side by side thing was just for we for show. At getting it stuck. Yeah, we we worked at getting it stuck. Yeah, it was not easy. It, no. Yeah. We we buried it. There. Uh, we want to make sure that this thing is a hundred percent real test, and you can. Uh, you can see it, it is buried. So this is going to be hopefully nobody thinks that it was just uh, all for show because it's not. It is stuck. <laughs> looking for one you know how many old <laughs> rigs I've had that I wanted to build and had to sell because we didn't have time and money I had an, an old 60s Lloyd Alexander I don't even know what that is it there was only a few of them brought to the United States it was like the old like panel milk wagons but super small yeah. like you could it was smaller than a Suzuki than a Samurai it had a 600 cc two-cylinder air-cooled motor front-wheel drive is something that even over in Europe you don't really see very many of them. And I had it for years and never could do anything with it. I always wanted to do something like this with it. Ended up selling it and I've never seen one since. Yeah, I've never like, even heard of that. Yeah, they're they're so rare that couldn't do anything with it. Just like all my projects that I sold to Heavy D. Yeah, we saw a bunch of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's got the resources, he can build them. I dreamt them up and then couldn't do anything with it because I got to work and... Yep, we saw a few of them sitting there. Yeah. He's got a lot of stuff over he's there. He's got a lot of stuff sitting in that yard. A lot. Yeah, it's filling up. Yeah, he's, he's got... He, he probably, when he got that yard, was probably like, what are we ever going to do with, with all, all this, this space? <laughs> and now it's like, <laughs> we, we need don't more. have any space. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Going to have to expand. That's because he doesn't have to sell one project to fund another one. Yes. Yeah. He can keep building them and keep them. Yeah. <laughs> someday. That, that's goal someday. Did you guys have a good time? Yeah. That's what I should have said when you asked me what our goals were in five years. I should have said that really what my goal is, is I want the YouTube to pay me enough money that I can go recover people, go four-wheeling, and build cool stuff. There you go. And get paid for it. And get paid, get paid for, for it. it. I don't need yeah. to be rich. 
I just need to do that and have time to spend with the family. That's it. I would I would die a very happy man. We should get they the mini Jeep stuck. And then you and he can pull one of these up. Pull yeah. it out with one of these. Yeah, the there track you go. Track one. Or the track one, yeah. yeah. Now you're talking. I'm I'm thinking we're gonna have a fun afternoon. Yeah, yeah. we should definitely do that. I mean you're not seeking. Oh, I don't I don't have much throttle. We don't need much because we're not pulling it out. We're not getting it stuck. He just wants to come to the end of the rope and show how harsh it is yeah. with the chain and a strap. And then Tie a knot in the chain, just for <laughs> yeah. good measure. Yeah, just so when it breaks, it goes in every direction. Oh yeah. <laughs> just doing some Yankum rope testing with Casey Liddell and Alan from Yankum Ropes. And me. Doing filming stuff. Even after I buried it, I I had to hit the brakes or else I'd start pulling out of it. Yeah. perfect example of why we never use those. Hold on, Ben. Did I get it? Let me grab the piece. So we got... We have three <laughs> failures. We've got a failure here on this hook. We have a failure here on this hook. And we have... We broke in two places at once. Wow. That is the worst of the... Like crap. No failure there. See this? That I've not seen. No. no failure. And this is why we use quality products. Rolling and hit it.
<laughs> Doing film and stuff.